Hey guys, I'm Karim Bilani from Mobi Scrub and in this video I'm going to talk about 7 Android settings that you need to change right now on your Android smartphone. You might know some of these and some might be new, but let's get right into it. The first one is about getting your browser's URL bar at the bottom instead of having it at the top, simply because it's closer to where your thumb can easily reach. Secondly, you can easily access some frequently visited websites easily uh, and beneath that you can scroll through uh, you know, stories that might interest you further. So right there and all of these stories are actually picked from your Google now so they're more relevant to you. And to enable this you just have to go into the address bar and type chrome colon backslash backslash flags and then uh, just search in page for the word home. And uh, yeah and when you do that it'll just uh, highlight one of these features that you will have to enable. So wherever it says chrome home just enable that. The second one is a bit unique. You might have noticed that sometimes while the page is loading on your screen and you start scrolling, you're automatically jumped to the top as remaining content gets loaded. This problem can easily be solved in Chrome by changing a small setting. So go back into the flag section and look for anchor or anchoring. And once you do that, you'll, you'll come across this one feature called scroll anchoring and change from default to enabled. And these visible jumps would no longer be an issue. The third one is about protecting your conversation and other information that might appear as notification on your lock screen from prying eyes. To enable this, just go into settings and look for lock screen. And once you go there, you can scroll to notifications right there. Don't toggle it off. Over there, you'd see that you can hide content and that's enabled right now. You can also turn on notifications icons only, in which case nothing appears but the icon of that app. But that's a little bit extreme. You can also hide content for specific apps and you can just enable or disable them in the list below. Anyway, I don't need that and I've just turned that off so that I'm back to, uh, you know, the fact that I can read my notifications. The fourth one is really just about making it really easy for you to reject calls. Go into settings, accessibility, and then to answering and rejecting calls or ending calls. And then press power key to end calls. You need to enable that. Now, you know, this is a lot more handy than you can imagine because it's probably the easiest button to reach out to. Also, I often find myself tapping on the red end button on the screen multiple times just to ensure that the call is disconnected. But pressing this button is so much more convenient, quicker and satisfying. And that click is, is it, it kind of acknowledges that your call has definitely been ended. And when you're not on a call, the key normally functions as a power and lock key that you would expect it to. The next one is about respecting your privacy. Head over to settings, look for Google and then ads. And you can actually opt out of ads personalization. So if you ever feel like you've been tracked or your activity has been monitored and that's how you're getting relevant ads, that's because it's true. All your app usage on your smartphone is being tracked to help you serve better suited ads. But you can put an end to that just by enabling this. If you have more questions, you can just head over to the menu and check it for yourself by getting into the help and feedback section. For the next one, you're going to have to enable developer options and to do that, just go into settings, scroll all the way down to about phone and then you'll see something called the build number. It might be inside software information or it might be outside. Just tap on it seven times and the developer mode would be unlocked. So just go back uh, into your main settings and you would now see developer options at the bottom or it would be right above, you know, above about phone. Now, when you open developer options, scroll all the way down where it says animation scales. So you've got window animation, transition animation, and animator scales, set all of them to 0.5 X. And you will see an instant boost in performance because the animations are going to be a lot faster. The last one is not just about saving data, but then being notified about how much you've been using it and how much is left. And all of this is inbuilt. If you go into your connections and then go into data usage, you can actually, you know, first of all, enable data saver if that's what you really need, right? And over here, you can see that it, it helps you cut down your data usage by preventing some apps from sending or receiving data in the background. So, you know, there are a couple of apps that do use a lot of data even in the background and you can restrict that. And the other important thing is to keep track of how much data you've used. And you know your billing cycle, you know when, when it starts uh, on which day of the month and when it ends. So for example, let's say that mine starts at about 8th of every month and I have, let's say, 6 GB. So I can enter 6 GB and, uh, you know, set it to 8th of each month. And basically it's going to start counting from 8th how much data your phone has used. 
and I can set a data limit. And if my phone was to go beyond that data limit, it will automatically shut off any data consumption, therefore ensuring that I'm not going above the specified limit that I have and I don't have to incur any extra charge. So I think it's a pretty interesting way and this is very sure shot. It, you know, you don't have to rely on your telecom operator or anything. You just have to rely on your phone's capability to count how many bytes are going out and coming in. So that's it guys, those were the seven settings that I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you really enjoyed watching it and you learned something out of it. Thank you for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up.